Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and it's 10.15 a.m. And it's Saturday, April 9th, 2022. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing this year's new limited edition summer edition Red Bull Energy Drink. And it's the strawberry apricot flavored one. So, oh yeah, boys, look at that can. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It has a silver top with a silver Red Bull tab. Bombs the Best Buy Dayton production code. Best Buy January 29th, 2023. So it's still fresh for a little while. And I got this at Walmart on the release day, which was April 4th. And um, luckily they had a lot of it there on that day. But um, one of my local um, state's restaurants that was made in my state, you know, Sonic, the drive-ins, you know. Um, it's like a restaurant where you go and park your cars, you know. They got this Red Bull like a couple weeks early. They got it like um, the last two weeks of March, I think. So that was really early because that was still spring, you know. It's still spring right now, too. It's not even summer yet. But, you know, the summer edition comes out in the spring, though. A little early here, so you know what I mean? Um, but other gas stations beside Walmart and stuff won't get this till around May 1st. So right now it's only exclusive to Walmart and Sonic right now for about a month, so you know what I mean? But yeah, Walmart, I guess, okay price is like around two fifty eight, I think. So I guess it's okay priced, but yeah. Shows the Red Bull logo, two bulls around like the sun, I think. Red Bull, the summer edition, strawberry apricot, artificially flavored energy drink, vitalizes body and mind. 355 milliliters, 12 fluid ounces. And um, I reviewed last year's summer edition almost exactly a year um, from today. It was on April 13th, though. But today's April 9th, so almost a year ago. 160 calories per can. Has the ball logo, some other codes, www.redbull.com. Please recycle in the recycling logo. Has SKU and a QR code. It probably takes you to their website. Red Bull, the summer edition, the taste of strawberry apricot. Artificially flavored, the wings of Red Bull. Red Bull is appreciated worldwide by top athletes, busy professionals, college students, and travelers on long journeys. Nutrition facts, serving size one can, amount for starting calories 160. Total fat, 0 grams, 0%. Sodium, 125 milligrams, 5%. Total carbohydrates, 40 grams, 14%. Total sugars, 38 grams. Includes 38 grams added sugars, 75%. Protein, 0 grams. Nice and 140%. Vitamin B6, 350%. Vitamin B12, 120%. Panathenic acid, 70%. Caffeine content, 114 milligrams per 12 foot ounces. as 114 milligrams caffeine in the entire can. Not recommended for children, pregnant or nursing women, and persons sensitive to caffeine. And it has other ingredients, carbonated water, sugar, glucose, citric acid, taurine, sodium citrate, natural and artificial flavors, caffeine, colors. Doesn't say what colors though, but um, spoiler warning, I already had one of these, the 8 ounce versions, you know what I mean? And yeah, the color was like a pinkish purple color. Um, niacinamide, pyridoxine, hydrochloride, calcium pentothenate, and vitamin B12. Distributed by Red Bull North America Incorporated. Scan here for more. Food information or call 833-460-4812. That's the QR code thing. Yeah, distributed by Red Bull North America Incorporated, Santa Monica, California, 90404. Copyright 1996-2013. So yeah, on my tablet, it looks a little bit like a... I don't even know how to describe it. Like a murkier orange. But in real life, it's like a shiny um, matte... Um, regular orange but yeah i'm gonna tell it um, it might be a little bit more i don't know if it's like saturated maybe I'm not really for sure the right word but um it's a little bit it doesn't look as like um shinier like in real life though it looks a little bit darker though on the tablet not really darker but um the orange is like a different shade see what i mean but i'll show off the can up close though in a minute though I'm going to show it off like this right now, though. There's the ball logo and stuff. Look at that codes. It's like really little on this one. Um, but last year's summer edition, I don't really like it. It was a dragon fruit one. I gave that one an 8 out of 10. Um, we shall see what I give this one, though. My dogs are outside, so I'm sorry if you can hear them. Uh, but yeah, this one's strawberry apricot. This one sounds pretty interesting, that's for sure. My lighting just went really weird. Well, the colors of the video glitched out. 
Probably when I was like focusing on the orange and that red. The white and the chrome. The SKU. That QR code thing. Okay. Here's the nutrition pack side. I got the best condition can that they had, but it's still a little dented up there. Now the lighting was been going a little bit like a reddish orange color. Sorry, it's like glitching the colors on my tablet. But I'm thinking about upgrading my tablet sometime in the near future. I had this tablet since 2017, Samsung Galaxy Tab S2. Um, 8.0, I did have the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 before this one. This one lasted me pretty good, but the headphone jack doesn't work, but um, my AirPods still work on it. With the Bluetooth, you know, but um, the micro SD card slot, what I use to transfer my videos with um, to my flash drive, using my adapter and stuff. Um, it's like starting to break. Well, um, if you look at the bottom of my tablet, it's like... I don't know, it's like slanted weird, the, like the port is. So it might break in the near future, we shall see. Um, but yeah, I need to know a good tablet to upgrade to, that's not too expensive, but um... So you know, it has a good quality camera, you know. And most of the tablets that have been coming out lately have been like too big for me, I don't want like a big tablet, I want like a small tablet, you know. Um, like this one, you know, but, um, so I can hold it easier while I'm filming my reviews. Um, so I'm thinking I actually might get the new iPad mini, I'm not for sure, though, because, you know, I like Android, and I like Windows, you know, I'm not really, like, an Apple or MacBook type person, um, but, you know, Apple's, like, newer stuff actually looks pretty lit, you know, just saying, um, like, high quality, you know, and powerful, you know, just saying, but, um, anyway, I'm gonna, um, show this can off up close right quick, but also, uh, Here's the smaller version compared to my head. And then the big version compared to my head. Ooh, I'm about to drop it. Sliding off my leg. This one's a little bit bigger. Wait. See, this one's the 250 milliliters, 8.4 ounces. So you want to already drink this one um, two days ago, but um, the rest of the can is pretty much the same. I'll show it off up close though in a minute too, so you can be able to see it a little bit better. You know, just saying. But um, I'm gonna try to show you both cans right quick. See, so, yeah, it's definitely smaller than that one. See so you know what I mean? But um, yeah. Anyway, now I'm gonna show it off up close right quick. So hold on a minute. Here's the 8.4 ounce Summer Edition Red Bull. Um, the lighting on it is still messed up. Um, but yeah. Let's see the text a little bit better, maybe. QR code, the SKU. Okay, nutrition facts. You might not be able to see it too good still. Caffeine content and the other ingredients and stuff. And the distributor information. Okay, that's pretty much that whole can. Now I'm going to show off the 12 ounce can right quick. Here's the big 12 ounce Summer Edition Red Bull. Yeah, it's only in the 8 ounce cans and the 12 ounce cans, not in the big 16 ounce cans. So, maybe if it sells well, they'll release it as an official flavor, you know? Because, yeah, I really like this one. So, you want them in? Spoiler warning for the rest of the review, but you want them in? 
stuff on it. Still a little dirty. I think that's where it got scraped up, where it fell. It's reflective, so I'm sorry about that. The rest of the cans, pretty much the same, all the ingredients and stuff the same, but the nutrition facts are a little bit different, you know, because it's a bigger can. So it has more sugar and stuff, and calories, and more energy stuff. The rest of the ingredients and stuff. The distributor information and stuff. That's pretty much the entire can, so yes, and I'm gonna finish my review for it, so hold on a minute. Okay, I showed off the can up close, now I'm gonna shake it up a little bit, open it, taste it, and get my review for it, so hold on a minute. Okay, I opened it, and the color, uh, if I can pour it out without spilling out my white shirt. Um, I don't wanna stain my shirt, I already stained my shirt. I already spilled like some of that. Um, cup noodles like curry on my shirt stained it a teeny bit like around there um but yeah the color definitely like a hot pink purplish color see what i mean yeah definitely a little bit like a hot pink but um when i was in my i'm drinking my other one in my bedroom the smaller version looked a little bit more purple but i'm in, and with my lighting right now though it's definitely more like a hot pink but it might be a little bit purple so you know what i mean Definitely was a little bit bubbly inside it too, but you can't really see it. Okay. Anyway, the smell. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, 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 well. Well. Smells like a drink I've had a few days ago. Smells like the strawberry sway energy drink. Has like that same strawberry candy type of smell. Reminds me of like those strawberry candies my grandma used to give me when I go to when I went to her church with her, you know, just saying. It smells a lot like that. But um it's definitely a, has a little bit more of a peachy type of smell. Because you know it's apricot too. And apricot is like peach, but I'm um, a little bit different though. So it's sort of like a strawberry peach type of smell, see what I mean? Um but yeah, it smells like the strawberry candy and like the strawberry sway energy drink, so just imagine that smell, you know, mixed with a little bit more of a peach smell. See what I mean? Or maybe if you mix, like, um, the strawberry sway energy drink with, like, the peach edition Red Bull. Probably be like that. Definitely a very strong, pungent, but sweet smell. Actually smells pretty lit, you know, just saying. Very fruity. Um, yeah, it smells pretty good, but I'm um, anyway, now I'm gonna try it. So here goes. Oh, yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Definitely way better. Way better than last year's summer edition, which was the dragon fruit one. Also way better than the Beach Breeze summer edition from a few years ago. Um, this one's like way better. Even though it's a little bit carbonated, it's still pretty smooth. You can probably chug it if you want to, but um yeah, it does have some carbonation when it goes down your throat, though. A little bit of fizz, you know. So you might need to stop when you try chugging it. Maybe after a couple of seconds, then try chugging it more, you know, just saying. If you want to do that, you know, just saying. Um, but yeah, the flavor, very fruity. Definitely sweet, but also definitely tart, though. Um, not really like a sour type of taste, but um. Well, maybe a teeny bit, but, um, it's a teeny bit bitter, though, but, um, not really, like, a bad bitter, just, like, a tart bitter, you know, just saying. Um, I don't know if it's because of the strawberry or the apricot, but, um, yeah, it's definitely a little bit tart, though. Maybe a teeny bit bitter, but, um, yeah, it's definitely really sweet, though. Good mix of flavors. I taste the flavors about evenly. Like, about a 50-50 mix, you know? 
Um, one flavor doesn't overpower like the other flavor, you know, just saying. Like the Raging Raspberry Hibiscus Bang I reviewed yesterday. I can definitely taste the raspberry more than the hibiscus in that one. But I could still taste the hibiscus though. But, um, yeah, I taste the strawberry about the same as the, um, apricot one in this one. See what I mean? So, yeah, it's a good mix of flavors. Evenly mixed. It tastes just like how it says, you know, strawberry apricot. So, oh yeah, boys, it's lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Definitely a real good fruity flavor of Red Bull. Definitely prefer this Red Bull, actually, over, well, two of the summer editions that I've had before. Maybe even the yellow edition, too. Um, but I don't know if I like it as much as, like, the coconut edition or, like, the, you know, the Kiwi Red Bull. Those ones were, like, really good, though. This one's still really good, but, um, I don't know. It's something about the mix of the flavors mixed with, like, the tartness of it. Um, I don't like it as much as, like, the Kiwi Red Bull or, like, the coconut Red Bull, but this one's still actually really good, though. Definitely really lit. <clears throat> energy wise for the 12 ounce can I'll say it probably lasts about three and a half hours about four and a half hours of energy so oh yeah boys it will get you lit it'll get you lit you know just saying so oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> the eight ounce version well the 8.4 ounce version so energy wise lasts about two and a half hours about three and a half hours so you know it still works pretty good um it's okay price is like around two dollars and 58 cents i think at walmart that's what i mean right now you can only get it at walmart in the sonic drive-ins Unless some gas station owner, you know, like a mom and pop owner, you know, not really like a chain store, you know, um, maybe if they bought some at Walmart, you know, um, then they could sell them at their gas station. So you might get lucky and find them, but um, right now it's supposed to be exclusive at Walmart and Sonic. Then other gas stations weren't officially supposed to get till next month on May 1st, you know what I mean? Well, starting May 1st. Um, but yeah, energy wise, it works pretty good. It tastes really good. Definitely highly recommend this Red Bull. It's actually very fruity, very tasty. So, oh yeah, boys, it's lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Energy wise, will get you lit. Taste lit. Has a cool can design. Like the colors of it and stuff. So, yeah, definitely highly recommend trying it. It's actually really good. I'm going to give the new Summer Edition Red Bull Strawberry Apricot Energy Drink for 2022, you know. I <sighs> actually really do like this one. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. So, oh yeah, boys, it's lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Oh yeah. Definitely try if you can find it. It tastes really good. Might be a teeny bit tart, though, but um, it's still definitely um, really good, though. So, yeah, definitely highly recommend you trying it. Energy wise, it works good. It tastes good. So, yeah, definitely recommend it. I give it a 10 out of 10. So, oh yeah, boys, it's lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Oh yeah. Anyway, my next review, I'm going to be reviewing. The new white peach, um, zero sugar Zoa energy drink. Sitting so without review, sitting so without review. So more, well, actually, that's in two reviews. My next review is going to be the Red Bull Summer Edition Slush from Sonic. So sitting for that review, I'm probably actually going to film it later today too. So you know, so sitting for that. Sitting more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And after that one will be the white peach Zoa. See what I mean? So yeah, peace out. And bye.